Hello and welcome to stage two of the Koenigsegg Yesco event. This one starts with a little bit of a joke. We're in the Honda S2000 GT. I mean, not really a joke. It is an iconic car, but boy, I'm glad mine's fully upgraded because apparently I've got a gaggle of supercars coming on me. And so we'll just see. I have no idea how hard or easy this is. Uh, this is my first take at this event. It's been a very long time since I drove this car, so I'm really not so sure of my braking points. Uh, probably can drive it in deep. Well, definitely could drive it in deeper than we could drive in the uh, Yesco. But still, um, it'll be interesting. So if yours is, has no upgrades at all, I guess if you don't own this car, you just got lent one that probably has no upgrades? Uh, I don't know, let me know. Um, I own it and it's fully upgraded, so let me know if, if you got lent this car, uh, let me know if it's fully upgraded or not. You, I'm curious if you have the option to, probably you have the option to upgrade it, uh, but it'd just be interesting to find out. Oh, I actually blew the corner. As you can see, I'm nervously watching behind me. I'm ex just expecting at any moment someone to be right on my bumper. And it feels so slow, but it's a good track for a car like this, actually, having all these tight corners. Ooh, well, that was uh, breaking a little bit too early there. Again, there's no one showing up yet. It's an interesting challenge to drive forwards while you are looking backwards. You have to pay attention to the track and pay attention to the track, I should say and kind of move opposite of the way you want to go. Feels very strange. I guess I could just stick this in driver view. Yeah, um, I'm not great at driver view, that's for sure, especially if you saw stage one, you know I'm not. But this is a pretty slow car, so I don't think it'll be difficult and a very predictable car. So if you take normal braking points here, you'll be more than fine. And no one is in my rear view mirror, how strange. I really thought I would have seen someone by now. Again, maybe it's because I'm fully upgraded, so maybe I just have nothing to worry about? Or am I not... Is this one not facing supercars? Or hypercars? Pretty sure there's hypercars that we're dealing with. Maybe I should just turn around and wait. Um, well, it didn't quite go right. Oh well, there we go. Went across the uh, start-finish line backwards. Um, well, let's just see what I was facing here. Oh, no, those are definitely some faster cars. Huh, okay. Well, let's see what we got next here. There you go, I wanted you to see that. See, in nice big letters, it says recommended. After the uh, Bugatti Bolide event, I had a lot of people asking me, how can I enter a race when it's I don't have the required upgrades? And they must have been confusing it with one of the other events. Um, because if you actually did that event, you know, ooh, that's not good. Um, you, you know when it's recommended PR, you can just enter just like I just did. So I'm sure I got a cracked windshield right now. And you might not, if you're new to my channel, a cracked windshield means you just lost some of the uh, PR rating of your car, basically. Like, it doesn't show up that way, but as soon as you have a cracked windshield, I mean, I thought, who cares at this point? A uh, cracked windshield means that you lost top speed, uh, acceleration, brakes, and grip. And there's two stages of damage. So once you get maximum damage, you really can't get damaged anymore, so who really cares? So at this point, I'm going to catch up to these guys and I might do some uh, smash and pass. Actually took me a bit to pass this stage because I was really messing up the braking points. So, well, I think this is my second or third attempt. You can see horribly cracked windshield, so I'm not really going to care. Smash him, let him go drifting. Oh, and I'm going to follow the leader. Oh, that's no good. Okay, well, one interesting thing of Red Bull Ring the bots take the first corner very bad. They do not optimize the first corner. Something about sharp corners make this makes them really overbreak a lot. So just watch this. I took that pretty good. So, I mean, could have been a little bit better, but that's actually pretty good. You want to get on the brakes a little bit early, and then you can be on the gas before you're even at the apex at that particular corner. And I'm going to get a little nasty to that Hennessy Venom and have nothing really to worry about. Although, I'll reel him back in a bit. Now that we are below recommended PR, it's impossible to slow down the bots. All you can do is manage them. And managing bots means don't finish higher than you have to. Try to keep your what you're doing to the minimum. I have to win this race, but I can slow the laps down a little bit. I'm not going to go crazy with that. And 
make sure that the second place bot's pretty close to me. This thing's interesting. Um, it does have decent grip, but you can really throw it around. These hypercars are very willing to break free. You stay behind me, you nasty little venom. Good lesson of blocking. There we go. And I'm going to reel him back in at the end here, and that'll be uh, that'll be it for this race. So far, very easy stage two. Usually stage one and stage two are just easy, but that's not going to last. Here we are. You got to lead, lead with 100 meters, and gosh, this is challenging. A Venom F5. I mean, that's no joke of a car. Now, this track is really not suited to hypercars, but honestly, uh, and by the way, this is a no joke. This is old school. Remember me mentioning old school? Okay, I gently grinded against that guy without shoving him off track. This is old school. If you're off track for a fraction of a second, boom, you fail. If you get too much contact, boom, you fail. That's old school. And honestly, guys, I've missed the old school difficulty. I hope it continues on. Interestingly enough, these type of events can create a lot of complaints from racers because people will complain I bought all these upgrades and I still couldn't win the car and if you go on the um, Real Racing 3 actual page when they mention these events they say that these events are designed for skillful players and the recommended PR is more based around skillful players now it's not always the case but that's their intent these are meant for players who are more more experienced in the game I'd say like intermediate level and above so if you're a newer player um you're probably going to need recommended pr at least and the, the required pr events those are more just for whoever now i'm doing pretty good because that's a uh, hennessy venom f5 and so he's going to be breaking his brakes are worse than mine uh these cars are feel so restricted at this particular track because you just spend so much time on the brakes now I do have to finish with at least a 100 meter lead. And still looking pretty good, but not, boy, it's not that I have that much extra room, hey? I honestly thought that this was gonna be a little bit easier. So I'm certainly gonna shoot it straight with you guys. This took me quite a few tries. Um, it's not easy to stay ahead of that guy. And if you aren't far enough ahead, if he hits you, you fail, which you might have been experiencing. It's really nasty. That, that, that F5 is very fast. If he hits you and you get any damage at all or he gets damaged, dude, you're done. So I spent quite a few tries um, dialing in the breaking points on this track. Surprisingly difficult. Um, so hopefully it doesn't get harder, but I guess we'll see. There, I was able to slow down a little bit at the end there because I had a bit more lead than I needed. Again, you want to keep it just kind of to the bare minimum. So what are we facing now? Oh great, a Valkyrie. Oh boy, that means uh, great acceleration and grip. Okay, well I'm gonna tell you something guys. I embarrassingly spent a good half hour here and I'll, I'll, I'll explain that in a sec. So, if you've been around my channel in the past, you've heard me say this so many times. Always read the description carefully. I failed to do that. <laughs> I thought I had to win this race with at least a 100 meter lead. So it's not hard to get to the lead in this race. The hard part's coming up, but I kept thinking I had to have at least a 100 meter lead. So I accomplished that. I had this nice big lead and then I went, wait a second, what's the race description? And I paused the game and looked and I went, ah, nuts. I didn't want to finish with a massive lead. And then I messed up trying to reel that, um, that Valkyrie back in, so I had to give it a few more shots. Anyhow, so that, now it gets really hard through the curvy section of this track that we went through. That's where the Valkyrie really gets on your tail, like, like here. But don't you worry, once you clear this part here, by the way, this is another old school stage. Instant fail if you go off track, like no grace at all. Get on the brakes early here. Let's talk breaking points a bit. Breaks before the first distance marker. All right. And then there's going to be some, uh, there's going to be an overhead banner, not this overhead banner. Uh, next overhead banner, you better get on the brakes just before it. And you're on the brakes, you're on the brakes, you're on the brakes, you're on the brakes. Swing a little wide into that gas. Then there's distance markers on the left. You need to be on the brakes at least four, maybe six car lengths before that distance marker. And you're on the, and you're going downhill. 
and you got it because you want to be in the gas here at the apex right now distance markers are on the right you want to break between the second and third so right in this area here turn nicely watch the uh, curb on the right the uh, white red curb breaking before it ends into the throttle again here okay and then on your left you're going to be watching for the distance markers on your left second distance marker is when you want to get on the brakes if you're like me with no upgrades at all and then watch on the left for where the right ends and where the grass is that's about where i was braking and there you go that's my braking points for these uh race three and four and i'll reel this guy in a bit there we go not a problem really so there you go. Uh, please like, please subscribe. Playlist link will be showing up here in a bit. Uh, you can see I've got no upgrades. And thanks for joining me. Race you later.